Hello everyone, today's topic is still agents configuration using the Clarity's pipeline and specifically we're going to talk about how to configure agent per stage. So in the previous video, um, I'm going to touch a little bit down to see the difference and the previous video we were talking about how you can configure Jenkins for any agent at the top level. So um, Jenkins behind the scenes is going to try to run your uh, ex your bill execution independency of your Jenkins availability. And in today's topic, we're going to see um, something different. So when you specify agent none here, um, you need to specify in which agent you want to execute your stage. In this case, that gives you the flexibility or the option that you can specify different agent per stage. For example, if you want to room a bill command here for anything that is related with units only, and you can do it in that specific stage for that specific agent. Or if you have, for example, builds command that is already related with Windows, let's say we are using PowerShell or any specific tool that is already only available for Windows, we can run it on, uh, on that specific agent that in this case is going to be Windows Slave. If we check in our Jenkins um, configuration, our Jenkins server, and we can see that I have two uh two nodes already added here one is the windows node and the other one is the windows uh, uh, is the linux agent as you can see here the names are different to the label that i'm using here so uh when you are calling a jenkins um agent or when you're configuring a jenkins agent you have to use this label it's not the jenkins it's not the agent name so don't get confused on that one so let's try this example in our um jenkins let's create a a new job. Uh, let's name it uh, non agent, and we're gonna use PyLamps. And here we go. In this section, we're gonna copy the script. We're gonna say apply and save. Let's build, and we will see if that okay that was really fast uh, it's pretty simple example just to show you how this configuration works so keep it in mind if you have different agents with different capabilities and you want to run a specific task for that specific kind of systems um, you you can use this kind of configuration if we can try something different here we can move uh, for example and this to the top level let's say um, we don't specify any agent uh, for this one. So what happened, what is going to happen here is the Linux build is going to be running on the Linux slave and this agent, um, the Windows command is going to be running on this one. So uh, the agent definition in the stage is going to be override the global configuration. Let's try this one as a pretty fast example. It's going to be really quick. Um, Let's try it. Let's see what happened there. Play. Build. And we can see the output. So we can see here uh, the Linux build command is running in the Linux agent. So, and the build, the still the Windows command is running on the Windows command. So that's pretty basic. That gives you a lot of flexibility. Is that something is really repeatable? Is you have a couple of tasks that are all repeatable in the same agent, just use global. Um, if you have any specific task that is required for any specific agent, because you need to require um, some kind of capabilities or tool that are all installed in that agent, you can go this way. Um, that's it for today. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions related with this kind of topic, this kind of configurations, if you want to see, uh, if you want to watch something that is more, uh, more details, more complex, just let me know, and I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you like it, and I and I see you in the next video.